Et donc, vous voyez le Screamer 10, euh, édition limitée, incroyable pop, vraiment un hang time très important, euh, très rapide, euh, vraiment un très bon Kyle qui tire beaucoup et qui envoie très très fort, très très fort. and dangerous kite. I've never been that high before. An amazing rush, fantastic hang time. I can hardly handle it. It's a 10 meter, it's fully new today and that's 25 knots. Super stable. That's the highest I've ever been. I need to go never lie down. We saw you on the water, we're like, oh my god! We checked and the gusts are 35. It's growing between 22, uh, average 27 and 35 uh, miles per hour. Okay, well, I shouldn't be on this kite, so don't tell my wife. <laughs> I want. But you see, it's amazing, huh? It's awesome. It's awesome. Really, I just, uh, it's just a different level of boost. You don't even need to throw the kite that hard, it just goes. I've loved it. Hi guys, thank you very much for visiting the Epic website. We are under the Scrimmer 10 Limited Edition product 14. So, right now, we're going to talk about the 14 Screamer 10 Limited Edition. The Scribber 10 LCD is our test pilot for the next generation. Since the beginning of Apex, we've been introducing and playing with the idea and using the Scribber 10 size as a, a pilot. A pilot for the next generation of Screamers. So, the Scribber 10 LCD is a mix of Renegade, Screamers, Judge and a few other ideas that we put together and we come up with the Scribber 10 LCD. So, for the 4G, we're able to improve the 4G and come up with something a little bit different than the 3G. Again, it's a totally different kite than the 3G uh, Screamer 10. So, if you really like the Screamer 10 3G LTD, I think you're in for a treat. With the Screamer 10 3G, you were able to uh, start jumping and have some good power in 50 knots. And uh, you could hold it all the way to uh, 25 knots. Uh, but a lot of people wanted to hold it more. So, um, Mommy and I decided to do some modification, change things around on the Screamer 10 LTD 4G, so you can actually have one quiver. So now, you can use the Screamer 10 LTD 4G from 14, 15, actually 50 knots, all the way up to 35. But you're gonna be lit, but still very controllable. Again, in uh, 50 knots, you won't have as much power as you used to have with the 3G Screamer 10 LTD. But you'll have power to move on and have fun. But not for jumping, until you reach probably 18 to 20 knots. And then you'll be flying like a bird. So basically, the Screamer 10 LTD 4G can be used as one quiver kite. You can also use it and take it in the waves. It's very hard, rock solid, uh, it stays there. Uh, it's an amazing kite. It's, uh, it's different than the Screamer 10 3G LTD. So if you're looking for a kite that can do big jumps, big board jumps, big high loop, then the Screamer 10 Limited Edition is a perfect setup for you. Again, don't take me wrong, the Streamer 10 LTD 3G is an amazing kite also. Now with the 4G Streamer 10, it's a totally different concept. Again, it's a basic idea of Renegade, Screamers, Judge and a few other ideas put together. And again, the Screamer 10 is always our test pilot for the next generation of Screamers. So anyway, let's uh, go and check a little bit more about the construction of the kite and all the uh, goodies that come with the kite. Okay, so let's talk about the construction of the Screamer 10 uh, LTD uh, 4G. 
as you can see here this is where we put the uh, the pump when you want to pump the kite this is where the leash goes and you can just slide it or you can also use this uh, uh, for fifth line uh, none of our bars is a fifth line we don't believe in fifth lines it relaunches it's very stable with four lines no need of fifth line but if you have another bar you can use a fifth line here uh, again we use the same protection that we use for 3g as you can see here very nice protectors and really grabby so it protects the struts and protects the leading edge also here all the attachments you'll see the uh, EVA uh, protector here on the the uh, leading edge attachments and also on the uh, struts on the one pump you'll see here we have a neoprene right on top of the zip tie so if you want to remove the neoprene and change it you have to cut this but then the neoprene protects it here you have a, a clamp so when you click it it locks the um, the one pump now if you want to change your uh, you strut something happens and the bladder is leaking uh, this is where you uh, you open it and this is where you remove the um, the bladder from and that's how you repair it from here again same thing this is the inflated valve this is how you inflate the kite and this is where you deflate again the one pump system same thing again this is the uh, zipper where you remove the bladder in case something is wrong and you want to fix your strut uh, again you'll see that the kite is really hard pumped See, it's very strong no wrinkles I like to pump my kites for best performance to like 10.5 psi but if I do so I like to remove one of the elastic bands okay so if I hit the kite on the wall really really hard I don't want my leading edge to explode so I rather the wind to pop out and come out from this so I usually do that you can always inflate to 8 psi 9 psi it's fine and you don't need to put the plastic but uh, the best performance is when the the leading edge is hard solid okay so again the Screamer 10 comes with five struts and all the struts are basically the same. Also on the tip here you have two, att two attachments so if the kite is too fast remove it from here and put it on the slow motion okay you have slow and fast so right now it's on the fast motion. All our epic kites comes perfectly trimmed out of the back so ready to fly. But again, you know, everything is going to get stretched after a while. So after like probably 10 hours, 15 or 20 hours of kiting, depending on the conditions, you're going to need to do some readjustment on the lines. Okay, so uh, uh, if the kite is starting back stalling, which means going backwards, that means the outside lines, the blue and red lines are getting too short. Okay, so what you need to do is you have two options. What you can do is you can do another knot right here, just below the other one, 10 centimeters right here. Okay, so then you can move this further down and put it here. And then you can remove this knot you don't need this knot anymore so you use this knot that you're going to make here or the second option is instead of putting on the first knot here move it to the second knot right here and use this okay and don't do anything on the other side leave it this that way by doing this the kite is going to be perfectly trimmed this is the screamer 10 limited edition bag uh, the uh, limited edition v4 uh, this is where you have the bar this is where you put the bar and also on the other side you have the pump and these are plastic uh, zippers so you open and inside you'll find the uh, Screamer 10 Limited but you'll find also an extra bag uh, this is the bag where you can actually unzip it open it and there's a mesh so if you don't want to deflate the uh, struts you can keep it all um, inside this bag with the, uh, the struts inflated so there's two bags uh, uh, the top one and uh, the inside bag then inside here you have another compartment and inside you have a, a kite aid uh, and some other uh, small uh, accessories um, in case something happens to your kite such as a one palm system and all that stuff. So again this is the bag and you can also attach uh, your board on the back or a snowboard. Once again thank you very much for your time I hope to see you on the water very soon. On an epic kite of course.